Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the dryer thermostat in your dryer. The reason why you might have to do this is because it's damaged, causing your dryer not to heat up. For this repair, you'll need a quarter inch nut driver and a flathead screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. This is our dryer model. It's a Kenmore. Now keep in mind that ours might be a little bit different than what you've got at home, but the same techniques should it still apply. So what we're going to do first is turn the dryer around. And we're going to need to remove these two screws. Now that we have those screws off, we can take the top off. Just pull it back a little bit and remove it. You can set it off to the side. Now I'm going to turn the dryer back around. And the next thing we're going to do is remove the two screws holding the lower access panel on. Once those screws are off, you just take your panel, pull down, on it, pull down on it just a little bit, and it comes right out. Now we're going to take out the two screws holding in the console. It's going to be on the top and the front of your dryer. And we just have to take this screw out here. Now I have to take out this screw here. Now we have to just unplug these wires here for the console. Push that tab in. Same thing with the other one. After we do that, we can pull this metal panel out from the control board. And we can just set it in there. Now that everything's undone, we can just pull up on the control panel. And just remove that and set it off to the side. Now I'm just going to pinch this plastic tab here and push it through. All right now we're just going to undo this wiring harness here and now you can just slide the screwdriver right between the clips and pull it apart. Now I want to just remove the filter here. We don't need that in there right now. It's just going to get in our way. And now I'm going to undo the two screws up here. All right. And now we're going to remove the screws off of this. Should be four in total. As you're removing this last screw, just make sure you're holding onto the panel so it doesn't fall on you. Now we're going to remove these screws here. Now we can lift up on the bulkhead. Pull it right off here. We're going to set this gently down. And we have one more wiring harness to undo. Now, with our screwdriver again, we'll push down on this clip and we should be able to pull it all apart. The next thing we're going to do is going to reach back in here and take off the belt. And in order to get the belt off, we're going to have to push up on the lever to release the tension and reach in with our other hand and now we can just take that right off now that the belt is off we can take the drum out and set that off to the side so this is our high limit thermostat so we can take off these two wires here there we go and now we'll unscrew it And now that comes right off. 
Now, grab your new OEM replacement high limit thermostat. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. So now we're going to put this on here, line up the holes, and screw it all back in. And now we'll get the wires back on. Now that we have that all attached again, we can put it back together. All right, now you can grab your drum. We'll put that back in here. Set it all the way back on the wheels there. Then drop the belt down and we'll put the belt back on. Now to put the drum back on, we're gonna take the belt. We're gonna go on the other side of the wheel here, just like this, and we're gonna lift it up and then loop the belt around the shaft here and make sure everything's on straight there we go and then everything should be able to spin freely now just like that now we're going to get our bulkhead and we're going to set this right back up on top of these clips And just make sure that everything is clipped in. Now we're going to do the top two screws again. And now we're going to get the bottom two screws. There we go. Now that we've got those tightened up, we'll plug in this wire harness again. Now we'll put the fan cover back on. And just make sure you line up those holes and then screw it all back in. Now you can grab your lower access panel and we'll put that back into place. And now we can screw it all back in. Now we're going to go ahead and plug these wires back in together. And we can also put this clip right back in here. Next we're going to put the control board back on. And now we can screw it back on. Now we're going to grab this metal panel with the control board on it. We'll slide that back into its slot. And then we can screw it back in. Now we're going to plug in the wires for the control board again. And lastly, we're going to turn the dryer back around so that we can put the top back on. And now we're just going to put the top back on. nice and snug and screw it back in.
Then we can turn it back around, hook it all back up, and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCApplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.